Sense making is the process that students go through to make sense of their world. Through this process, students access prior knowledge, generate initial ideas, gather evidence, explain their thinking, and critique the ideas of others in order to build consensus. In the end, students create new schemas that help them understand future phenomena they may encounter. Sense making starts with a phenomenon that is engaging, complex, and not easy to explain. For example, Students are presented with two blocks that look the same, but one is heavier and feels colder than the other. The question is asked, which block will melt an ice cube faster? Based on prior knowledge, students make predictions for what they think will happen. When the ice cubes are added, students notice that the heavier, colder block starts to melt the ice cube significantly faster. This video is in real time. Once they observe the phenomenon, the students record observations and ask questions. This leads to the driving question, why did the colder, quote unquote, colder block melt the ice cube faster? In groups, students try to explain what they saw and what they think is going on. As many ideas as possible should be shared during this time. One strategy is a discussion diamond board. This can be done on poster paper or on a large whiteboard. Each student gets a corner to write on any initial ideas they have. Each group member shares out their ideas, and once all group members have shared, the group comes together to make a consensus model in the middle. This model can be then be shared with the whole class. It is important at this stage to not correct misconceptions. Keep asking open-ended questions that help students to think about evidence they collected and evidence from prior knowledge to help explain what is going on. And that is the end of the first step. This step can often be completed in just one or two class periods. In the next step, we will go on to discuss part two, gathering evidence.